Hello, hello, everybody. Not sure how clear I am. This is Amy with 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida. I figured I would start the video. I am heading to the rescue house. It's 10 p.m. on Thursday. I know that a lot of you have been impatient. I'm seeing a lot of comments that you have not seen us live for a couple of days. Um, it, first of all, Facebook Live has been down. Thank you, Zoe. We've been trying and trying over and over again to post it's very, very frustrating when we have so much activity uh, and we can't share with all of you. So it's not anything to do with our end. Uh, we've been trying, Zoe herself was so frustrated. She was trying everything in her power. Hi, everybody. Um, Zoe was trying everything in her power to try to get the videos to go live uh, when she was doing Sydney and um, Ariel. So let me start off with Sydney because I'm seeing a lot of comments about Sydney. New text message from Romy. Sydney, uh, as you know, we rescued from the Broward shelter. She was a stray. And I had to beg and beg and spend hours begging the manager to release her to our organization during her stray hold. Uh, I knew the owner wouldn't come and she did not or he did not. So. Um, Sydney is 10 to 12 years of age. She is adorable. If I could have her in my bed, she'd be home with me. Um, I can't. Uh, so many people love Sydney. She's perfect in every way. So she went immediately to foster with Zoe's family member, Jenna um, and Fred. She was doing fantastic. And then we were looking for, obviously, an adoption. Um, hold on second my phone's moving as I'm driving uh, we were looking for an adopter and I met this wonderful woman I went to her home I spent two hours there she's an she's an older woman um, in her 80s uh, I thought it would be a perfect fit beautiful beautiful home well as you saw Zoe delivered with Jenna to her home um, she, while she loves Sydney her floors are all these shiny shiny marble and she's saying that Sydney's having a hard time maneuvering. Um, she's walking great outside. She sleeps through the night. She's feeding, cooking for her. Um, but apparently she's concerned about the, the tile. We told her about yoga mats and rugs and she's not wanting to do that. So in my opinion, this is not the fit for Sydney. Sydney deserves the best. Every one of our dogs deserve the best. And we know from experience that if it's not a fit, it's not the end of the world. Um, it just means that this is just a another step in the right direction until we find Sydney that perfect, perfect forever home. I'm taking you guys with me. Hold on. Um, so, guys, we're trying. You know, we do everything in our power to make sure that our dogs get the best of the best. With that being said, this is not her forever home, and. Until we find that home, she's safe, she's being loved, she's being walked, she's being taken care of, um, she's going to get groomed on Saturday. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we're, that's Sydney. Um, Ariel hit the jackpot. Ariel hit the all-time jackpot. That I can tell you. I have been speaking to her mommy, Jackie, and daddy, Bob. Zoe dropped them off. And my lights are still on. Uh, Zoe dropped her off. It was magical. I mean, every dog deserves a home like this. Canella is um, in her foster to adopt, doing fantastic. They're in love. They were from the second that she was dropped off. And um, for what you want, if you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm walking into the rescue house. I just got here. Um, so Canella is doing fantastic, and. We believe that is her permanent, but we will announce it once we have a definite. Uh, they said they want to keep her and adopt her. They love her. Love her. She, Canella still has to be spayed um, after that tumor was removed. Let me bring back the comments so I can see. I missed you too, guys. I missed you too. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Hurry up. Come on. Come on. Shh, shh, shh. 
Cut it, guys. I'm at the rescue house, guys. Come on, I'm taking, uh, hold on. Hurry up, I know. Mayor over here, the mayor. So we have our Waffle and Bryson, who everybody's in love with. Hi, hi. Hi, my boy, miss you. I haven't seen you in a couple of hours. Hi, Bry. Hi, come on, let's go play. Come on, let's go pee-pees and poo -poos. Come on, come on, come on. Go, go, go. Go. The boys are up. <laughs> the boys are up. They've been alone since 7 o'clock. So now I'm back to do the late night. Hello, Godiva. Don't start barking. You're next, okay? Go. I know. I know. Hi, Gage. Hi, handsome. Where are the boys? Boys. Come on. Hey, what are you sniffing over there? What are you? What are you doing? Come on. Come on, let's go play with the toys. We definitely have enough toys here. It's like it's like the, the toy, look at this. The toy store. Um, okay, so as I was saying, uh, Canel is doing great and they're going to adopt. I'm sure of it. That's Canella. Ariel, I already went through. Sydney, I just explained to you. Um, Waffle and Bryson, Gage and Godiva is still here. Albert. Uh, Susie and Sam. <laughs> Godiva, what did I say? You know, we're not putting boots on the dog. Um, Susan, the, the results of the tumor, it was a sarcoma. Uh, they believe they got it all. I'm going to turn it on me so you're not talking I'm not talking and you're looking at grass because the boys are on the side of the yard um, Canella's tumor that massive massive tumor um, it it was a sarcoma um, but it they believe it was contained so they're gonna go back in uh, because Coral Springs would not spay her which I requested and begged them to do so so she wouldn't have to go in twice I guess everything happens for a reason so she has to go back in to be spayed and they're going to go in and make sure they have clean margins and make sure that they get everything um, and that there's no other cancer going on um, with Canella. I can tell you she's loved, adored, and spoiled. They said she's perfection. They adore her. She goes to work with them. They take her out to dinner with them, to restaurants. She's perfect. She does have a little separation anxiety. So, of course, I suggested she needs another dog. She needs a little friend uh, to keep her company. So they're, they're considering, but they wanted to get Canella um, all settled and make sure that everything was good with her uh, before thinking about taking another dog. Yes, Godiva wants to always play. She wants attention. She'll be out here soon. I'm getting the boys out first. Um, while I have you here, if you have any questions for me, please just shoot. Just ask away uh, so that I can answer everybody. Um, I will tell you that if we are silent, uh, well, first of all, Facebook Live was down. So that was completely out of our control. It was very, very frustrating. And I was reading all the comments from all of rescues and rescue people and animal rescue. Everybody was so frustrated because this is the lifeline. This is their lifeline. You know, we advocate, we share. Um, and we're trying to save lives from the kill shelters from the streets and we can't do any of this so it's very 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 frustrating on our part so it's not just you uh, Drizzy's great we've had videos uh, he has is still in foster with Tiffany uh, doing great he comes to the rescue house he was here all day playing he's exhausted um, he had um, a previous adopter of ours uh, is came and met Drizzy and she fell in love so we're setting up a meet and greet with, um, with her dog, who is our dog, that she adopted a couple years ago, Riley, who's now Royal. Uh, so we're doing a meet and greet this weekend. If it's a, a fit and everything's great, hopefully Drizzy will be adopted. Um, I, Allison, I mentioned Sydney at the beginning. You're going to have to go back and listen, but she is in foster. It is not a perfect fit. While she is being very well cared for, um, it's just not the right home and we want the best these dogs 
just like Ariel and all the other dogs that are in wonderful, amazing homes. And we get the updates of, you know, how who saves who. And they can't think, thank us enough for bringing the most amazing pet into their life. So I never, ever, ever push a dog on anybody. But she is very well loved and cared for. We're checking in all the time. Um, so I can promise you that. Sabre's great. Uh, he's doing so well. Uh, we're still monitoring him with Dr. Cannon at Lauderdale Veterinary Specialist. Bubby is ridiculous, Kathy. He's beyond, beyond. He's part of the family. Um, yeah, he's doing great. Toby's doing great. Um, <clears throat> what else? I'm reading. Mickey. So Mickey, as you know, has has had back surgery to repair his ruptured disc and um, I, we've been speaking to the doctors every day once or twice a day um, he's not a fan of being in a cage he's not a fan of um, being messed with so we feel that uh, 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 you will see her Susan if it mat if it's a match for sure um, we, he is going to be picked up tomorrow, Mickey. We found a wonderful, loving foster. Thank you, Barbara, if you are watching. Barbara is a previous adopter also of 100 plus, and she has our dog, Jackie, the little Shih Tzu. Um, and she has a separate room. He needs cage rest. As much as we all hate cages, it's crucial for his healing. Uh, we know from experience. So she is... Carol's great, Pauline. She's doing great. She's great. Thank you for asking. I just left her at home. Um, so we're going to be uh, picking Mickey up tomorrow, and he is going to be going to his foster, um, and he'll be there healing for about eight weeks, and and then we just take it day day by day. Um, that was a very very costly surgery. We've given them five thousand. I believe we still owe them a little over three thousand. So we're trying to, we're really trying so desperate, desperate uh, to play catch up um, with all of these really extensive vet medical bills that we have um, accumulated, saving these tough, tough cases. So, you know, Mickey was well over 9,000, Canella was well over 3,000, and we're not even close to being done. Um, Guys, what are you eating? Sorry, I'm just checking on the baby. Bryson, come here. What do you have? Oh, they're just chewing on their toys. Um, so yeah, we have a lot, a lot of medical bills, a lot. Um, thank you so much, Edna. Thank you, Edna is donating $50 towards our outstanding um, thank you, Pauline. I'm sorry. I, you know, and I have a lot going on, uh, behind the scenes as well as the things that I am telling you about, uh, the updates of the dogs. I, there's so much that I do behind the scenes that you don't understand, uh, between the phone nonstop. Um, you know, so many people reaching out for help and assistance with dogs, whether they're giving up their pet uh, the hours I spend on the phone trying to talk to them and educate them, um, the emails that I answer all day and all night, uh, the, f the phone calls, um, the accounting, you know, the videos, the rescue house. Uh, there's just, it's endless. There's not enough hours in a day. What's going on over here? Give me that leaf. You can't eat leaves. You cannot eat leaves, mister. Give me... <laughs> Why are you, you eating leaves? You can't have that. Bryson? Bryson? Come here. Come here. What are you doing? Why is Bryson, this adorable babe, and, and Waffle, why are they still here? Waffle, why are you still in this rescue house? Huh? You want your baby? <gasps> is this your baby? You want to play? You want to play fetch? Ready? One, two, three. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Get it, Waffle, bring it back. Come on. Bring it back, good boy. <laughs> These two are off the chart, off the chart. I had one of my volunteers come here today, and she almost started crying. She said, the thought of them not being here 
makes her want to just burst out in tears because she said they make her day every day. They're the best. No, they're the best. <laughs> they're the most loving, affectionate, sweet babies. They're so much fun. I could be having the worst day or feeling sad or melancholy. And as soon as I come in here and these two, forget it. They just make everything okay. You can't help but smile and just your heart is just bursting with love with these two. Um, they have to stay together. They have to. Well, basically, as I'm saying this, I was saying this to my, my volunteers, we are like, the, this is the bonded pair house right now. We have Susie and Sam, we have Gage and Godiva, um, and now we have, of course, Waffle and Bryson. Every room, uh, and Albert is still here. Um, Albert's with um, our wonderful volunteer, Robin. She, he, she's been taking him every night, so it gives him a break. At least he's sleeping and cuddling with a person. He's dropped off in the morning at about 7.30 when she goes to work, and then she's been picking him up every night um, after work. So it gives him such a break, and he gets so excited when she comes. It's wonderful for him. Um, so we're very grateful, very grateful. We have five puppies left from the litters with Christine and then we still have Lincoln. I've received so many emails on the puppies and I have to tell you every time I ask the questions about work schedule and you know where do you live and then I get phone on phone conversations it's just very they're not a fit it's just very disappointing. Um, yes five puppies still looking for their forever home. Tinsel's amazing. I did, uh, it is great for Albert, Susan. Oh my God, it just makes all of us take so much pressure off of us because we worry about him all the time. He's a very sensitive dog. But at least he gets that. Cuddles every night in a bed and dropped off every morning. And then he gets, of course, the love. And today he went for car rides and he went for walks. Um, you guys are killing me. You are asking me the same question. So I don't know if some of you are just jumping on, but Mickey I've already t spoken about. Tinsel's great. Um, Buttons was adopted. I did the video. She was adopted with the family that has Tinsel and Soda Bear and Pookie. I did that video. So you might have to scroll through our page. I think you guys are missing videos and you're thinking that I'm not updating, but everything is updated. You just have to pay attention. Yeah. Um, what happened with who? Alvy? Who's Alvy? I don't know who Alvy is, Edna. Okay, so you guys that are just jumping on, um, oh, Albert, he's, I just spoke of Albert. You guys that are just jumping on, everything you're asking me, I've already recapped on. So you're gonna have to wait for the video to shut down, otherwise I'm gonna keep repeating and repeating myself. Uh, and then you're gonna have to go back and just watch it from the beginning. Yes, Buttons is great, but Buttons has um, a collapsed trachea, and she also has uh, bronchitis. So she's on um, strong antibiotics, and she is going to, she also has a heart murmur, 3.9 pounds. So she's going to see, here's another, another bill. Um, she's going to see the cardiologist, Dr. Schroeder, at Leader Animal Hospital in Cooper City. It's $500 just to get in the, with him, and that's our discount. So, guys, we need a lot of money behind us to rescue all of these dogs and these very hard cases. We're not rescuing dogs that are mm -hmm. easy, foofy, and a vaccine and a prevention, and off they go. These are dogs, as you know, if you truly follow us faithfully, um, you know that all these dogs that we've been pulling lately are requiring a lot an extensive medical look at Ned Ned is a senior Shih Tzu that we pulled and our bill to save his life so far has been over six thousand dollars this is a senior tiny little Shih Tzu um, Sparkle Sparkle is actually going to be getting her first heartworm injection tomorrow and then returning back to her foster um, with Craig who's doing awesome um, and there's a family very, very interested in her for adoption. So she may just have a forever home. We shall see. We shall see. We still have Blanche. Um, and Blanche is Blanche's foster mommy, Minda, is going away. So starting tomorrow, Blanche will be back at the rescue house in our only one room that we have vacant. 
and she will be with us for nine days. That's Blanche. And Blanche has some serious separation anxiety. So we have to really watch um, so that she doesn't destroy our couch in that room. Hey, 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 hey. Stop. Shh. Don't bark. Don't start. It's too late. You're going to wake all the neighbors up. Um, so, yes, Blanche is coming back tomorrow for boarding with us for nine days, and then she'll return back to the foster when she gets back. So that's it. We have no rooms available here. So on that note, um, we have some – you missed the surprise. The surprises that we posted were the two – um, Ariel got adopted and uh, Sydney we thought was going to a foster to adopt but it just ended up being a foster so um, not just a foster but a foster so she is still looking for her forever home um, you guys come on eating leaves I gotta get the other babies out let's go come on we take turns we get everybody out to pee pee and then i do one more round and let everybody play some more before we call it a night and uh tiffany will be in at 7 30 in the morning come on come on come on come on come on oh wait guys do you want a treat i know you do we're gonna share one okay we're gonna share one because then we don't want diarrhea come on come on <laughs> you happy <laughs> mm -hmm. Trying to keep it quiet so that we don't disrupt the other dogs. Here, let's put your light on for a little while. Okay? You ready? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go. They're doing great. As you see, we have unlimited dry food in here. So, hey. Can you sit? Up, 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 up. One for you, one for you, one for you. Okay. Go eat your treats. Go in your fluffy bed. As you can see, these dogs are... <laughs> not lacking the comfort of anything they have toys everywhere um and of course their tv and their comfortable couch and blankets and beds everywhere so unlimited food and water this is the comfort that they receive here um, until we find a forever home and i will tell you i'm always checking in on the nest camera up there and whenever i'm peeking in to check on the dogs these two are either cuddled together on this bed or that blue bed, or they are literally throwing the toy. What, what are you doing with your treat? You're gonna, you know, Bryson's gonna want it. You better get it. Um, they'll be throwing toys. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Throwing toys up in the air and entertaining themselves. <gasps> What's this one? What's this? Bryson, get it, 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 get it. Get it. Hi, May. I call Waffle the mayor because he's a busybody and he has to be in know with everything that's going on. They're beyond adorable. They're 10 pounds. <laughs> hey, don't shoot. See what I tell you. Give me that treat. You cannot eat it. Eat it now or I'm taking it. Eat it. Come on. Eat it up. You're not eating it. You don't like it. Here. Eat this instead. Come on. Eat your food. You both have food. It's enough. No, no, no. We don't fight over any treats. It is the best rescue house ever. It's the best. I've had so many new people come into this house and say they are so blown away that they've never seen anything like this. And it's just amazing. And um, the love that they say. Get back. The love that they say that they get when they come in. I'll be back, guys. That they receive when they come into this house is just so overwhelming. And that means a lot because we pour our hearts and our souls into this house. And this is Albert's room. As you can see, it is empty because he's not here. He's in a bed with our wonderful friend and volunteer, Robin, cuddling in bed. Come on, babies. Go. Come on. I hear you, Sam. I'm coming. You gonna get your toy? Okay. Where's my charger? There it is. Nope. 
Where is it, guys? Is that it? Hold on, guys. Of course, my phone is always dying. Story of my life. Hey. Hey. What are you doing? Is Gage and Godiva? Hi, Mommy. Still here. Most amazing, amazing. I mean, Mommy is just oh, the best. The best. And get engage. The two of them are so, so wonderful. So special. It just kills us that they're still here. But I will tell you this. Hold on. Let me let them out. <clears throat> go on. Come on. I'm going to let you guys out. Come on. Go, go, go. Go. I'll be right there. Um, I will tell you this. Gage and Godiva are so loved and so spoiled here that I'm telling you, they are not... They're not going anywhere until it is perfect. It has to be equally, if not better, than what we have here for them. So um, that's our promise to them and every dog that we take in under our rescue organization. <clears throat> so as you can see, we have a lot going on. We do have a really, really, really big surprise. I'm just not, I'm not going to reveal it tonight. Um, I have been waiting because I want it to be the right time, um, but we do have some amazing, amazing news to share with everybody, and I promise you that you will definitely find out over the weekend. Um, it's, it's good stuff. It's good stuff. But right now, I'm here because I just wanted to catch up with everybody um, with the updates, with the live, the, the video feed, like I told you. Uh, it's been down it's been frustrating so this is my first real opportunity which is not even I have to go outside with them um, but it's my real opportunity to be able to update everybody on um, what's been going on for the past couple of days Sam and Susie no they are here Stephanie still um, Sam actually has something going on he's been chewing at his tail so we've been uh, putting medicine on it, and tonight he has a cone on, so he doesn't chew. It could be a hot spot. He's going to go to the vet. Um, they've been going for walks. They've been going for car rides, but they are still here. And those are the two that I worry most about, I will be honest with you, um, other than Albert and Susie and Sam. Um, I am seeing, I am personally, in my opinion, seeing Sam and Susie kind of deteriorate. Um, you know, they love loved their daddy who was murdered and their whole world was taken from them their whole world was turned upside down so uh they've been here going on three months now and it's just it's not the place for them they need a home so the longer they're here um they're deteriorating i'm seeing i see it and it's killing us we did not save these dogs uh to um, we did not save these dogs to have them live in a room. It's just not, it's not, it's not what we had in store for them. Um, we don't, we're not buying anything. We don't own the house that we're in. We rent, we lease. Um, they want over $400,000 to purchase this rescue house, that this piece of property that we're in. It's commercial property. Um, so we rent and, you know, we are stuck um, because, like I said, all the rooms are taken and spoken for. Uh, if I wanted to right now, if I rescued another dog, it would have to go into quarantine in Dr. Carlos's office in Hallandale um, from the shelter. But I don't have any room for large dogs whatsoever, none, um, until I can get a home for either Albert, um, Sparkle, um, Cupcake, uh, Lena, um, Blanche, Gage and Godiva, Susie and Sam. Until I can get a home for any one of these big dogs, I cannot take in another dog, big dog in this house. Because what's going to happen is they're going to sit and sit and they don't move. So if I do that, that means we're stuck. That means we're done. We're done rescuing unless we had a foster. And I can tell you that when I was at the shelter um, getting Sabre out with uh, you know, my team, that I went live and I showed you, I walked up and down each and every 
hallway uh, runs, oh, walking in and, and, and zooming in on all the dogs that are facing death. And I can tell you that just alone today, uh, I've been sick all day because I received the emails from the Miami-Dade shelter of the dogs that are in danger and basically have 24 hours and they're going to be killed. Whether it's their king, it's behavior, um, whatever the case may be, fearful, um, an upper respiratory, um, you know, I received 14, if I'm not mistaken, 14 bully breeds today in email that they have 24 hours. So I can tell you there's going to be a lot of killing going on. Um, and I recently shared the, I've been sharing not every day, but I am taking a group, the amount of dogs and cats that are killed in one day at the shelter and I'm posting them and I'm posting their faces and I'm posting their names. And somebody came on and started yelling, why am I doing that? It's depressing because we are here to bring awareness. We are here to educate. We are their voice and they did not die for nothing. Um, their lives mattered and I'm sorry, but I'm not going to ever stop. Um, if it's too much for you to see, then just turn away, skip over the post, come back another day. Um, we all hate the place all hate the place, hate the shelters, uh, hate the kill shelters. But I'm going to tell you right now, as much as we all want to smash and trash and, you know, beat up and, and blame it all on the shelters, it's not all their fault. Um, when you have a shelter capacity for four to 500 dogs, and then you had, I'm not making excuses, and then you have people surrendering and animals on the street, and you're talking 40, 50, 60 dogs being picked up or taken to the shelter on a daily basis, um, I, I don't know where we expect the shelter to place and hold all. No, PETA is PETA kills. I don't know if you're aware of that, but PETA kills. We do not support PETA. Um, they can't stop killing at all. Humane Society, right here, the Humane Society in Broward, um, they kill. Uh, the Broward Animal Care and Adoption, I've received several emails, they're killing. Um, they kill daily. Uh, Miami Dade kills daily. Um, all of the shelters here in South Florida, they kill. And what bothers me the most is they're claiming they're no kill. Uh, yes, PETA is just as bad. Um, correct. PETA kills more dogs than shelters do. Um, but they're claiming on their, on their websites, <clears throat> I shared it, from Miami-Dade, they stated that they are no kill. Uh, they are not no kill. I am posting the dogs they're killing and the cats that they're killing daily. So um, please, educate yourselves. Uh, and what bothers me so much about this is that people will call me and say that they need to surrender an animal um, and say that they're going to, when I tell them we're full, and they're going to take the dog or cat to the Miami shelter or, or the Broward shelter because they're no kill. And that's bullshit, they're not. Um, and it's stated on their website, they're no kill. And it's a long equation, but how the no kill works is if it's a certain percentage uh, that they are killing, then they are considered no kill. It's, it's, it's just, it's very confusing for the public that are not educated and all it's doing is killing more innocent lives in need. So I want everybody to be, be clear on that. Um, we can go around and around and around. I agree, Linda. Um, yes, Miami is the worst that I've seen. Peggy Adams kills too. Yes, they do. Um, at least my dealings when I dealt with Peggy Adams, they killed. Yes, they do. So, there you have it. These are all um, funded. They're funded big time, big time money. Um, and they're killing. You know, we are a grassroot rescue um, and have saved thousands and thousands of animals. Very, very tough cases, expensive medical cases, and we are not funded by anybody. Um, we are basically funded by you, to be honest. Our begging, my begging and pleading every single day. Um, and my team, when we do videos, begging for your help. Um, that is the only way we continue. So there are, there are you know, they do have spay and neuter, neuter clinics and uh, mobile clinics. But uh, the community, um, a lot of people don't want to spay and neuter. Um, it's, again, it's... A mentality war we're dealing with and they need to be educated I actually got a call for somebody that was interested in adopting one of our puppies and their three-year-old American is not neutered 
and that's a problem for us. Um, and then when we started talking in great lengths and detailed, um, really nice family. Um, but they said they take their dog to the dog park and they, their dog has a problem with male dogs because he's not neutered. So, um, you know, I asked, why would you not neuter? And they said they got the dog a year ago and they didn't see the need. So a lot of people don't believe in neutering. Um, they think it changes the personality, which is crazy, well, crazy stupid. Um, and it's only for health reasons. I mean, animals get sick, they get prostate cancer, they get, um, you know, all kinds of problems medical when they're not spayed and neutered. So, yeah. I know, Pauline, it's like that everywhere. It's like this everywhere. It's very, very sad. It's very tough to swallow. It really is. Um, so, I updated. Um, I am, because my phone is low, I have 3% battery. Um, I'm going to go outside and spend time with the babies engaging Godiva. <clears throat> I have a very busy day tomorrow. Um, but I promise you, I promise you that over the weekend we will have some great surprise for you. And it will be worth you staying tuned. I promise, promise, promise. Um, but just please know that when we do not come back live every single day or five times a day, which sometimes we spoil you. Um, and I get it that you love us and you support us and you just, it's coming from a good place. But please understand, it's not because we don't want to, it's because we're very overwhelmed sometimes and we're just trying to breathe. Um, again, you know, we're here, I'm here at 10 o'clock. I'll be here till 11, 11.30. Um, and we've been going since 7 a.m. this morning, literally 7 a.m. this morning, up at 6, getting ready to be here at 7. And it's all day and night, and it's seven days a week. So um, I think we do pretty good considering how busy um, with updating. And we also, I will tell you, even the questions when you guys were asking, when all of you wonderful volunteers and supporters were asking questions, um, under the, the pictures and the, the videos and the things that we're posting while Facebook was having all their issues. They even put out a big note of what's been happening. Instagram mm -hmm. was down too. I was commenting and commenting and it said, kept saying that my comment is posting and posting and circling and then I'd go back and my comment wasn't there. So, And Zoe was having the same problem. Everybody was talking about it. Um, so please understand that it wasn't because we didn't want to talk to you or respond to you or live video, uh, it just, it wouldn't let us. So enough on that, we've, we've reiterated on that topic, I think enough so that you understand. Um, so please guys, please donate. We have a lot of medical that we need to come cover. Um, and again, tomorrow Mickey's being picked up and we have to come up with, I don't know, over 3,000 tomorrow that we just, we really don't have, um, we need it. So everybody, share, share our dogs, share our posts, all of these babies, we need to get Susie and Sam um, in a home. They are deteriorating. They are not happy in this room. They need a home, please. And Albert and Gaging Godiva, and I'm not gonna list on and on and on. The puppies um, share. We've gotta get these dogs into homes. Waffle and Bryson, please. Um, no rest for the wary, yes, but a definite, definite rewarding heart. And I wouldn't change a thing. You guys get some rest too. Uh, I hope I've answered all of your questions. Um, I will be back tomorrow sometime and over the weekend, uh, Saturday or Sunday, it is going to, maybe even tomorrow, I don't know, I'll see. But between tomorrow and Sunday, we will be updating with some fantastic news, at least we think it is. It's gonna help us a lot, save a lot of lives. So everybody have a great night. This is Amy with 100 plus Abandoned Dogs of Everglades, Florida. And thank you for your ongoing love, 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 and support. Have a great Friday night. Oh, no, sorry, Thursday night. Tomorrow's Friday. Have a great Thursday night, and we'll see you tomorrow. Take care, everybody.